And uh, then I got hired to basically do that again for my job um, and then go further. But I think that was really like the big connection between practicum and job was it was kind of like getting a, another real experience doing that. Um, so my name is Margaret Davies and I got my master's um, with a concentration in epidemiology. Um, I am up in Wisconsin working as an epidemiologist for the Eau Claire City County Health Department. Um, I came on to work on a grant that focuses on substance misuse, um, both in the community and then we also look a lot at youth, um, it's like middle school and high school, use and misuse of alcohol, tobacco, marijuana, and other drugs. I would say my favorite part was definitely the professors, honestly. Um, <laughs> They were always like really real about being like having an open door policy. Um, even after I finished like with one of my professor's classes, like I would still go by and like talk to him for like 45 minutes, probably every other week, like my whole last semester. Um, and I just felt like, I don't know, all of them really actually cared, um, which was really kind of a unique experience in my academic history. So that was a really great thing and something I thoroughly enjoyed um, about the program. Yeah, for sure. So for the courses, definitely all of my epi classes. Um, I think my favorite one was uh, epidemiology of mental health. So I took that as an elective my uh, last semester, which was great. Uh, and then in terms of assignments, I thought the practicum was really cool. It definitely got me like out in the real world. I had to go like actually find the experience. So I did my practicum at the Chatham County Safety Net Planning Council, which is in Savannah. Um, so I did it virtually with COVID. That was kind of the way we had to do everything. Um, basically, what I did for them was develop a needs assessment. So I developed a survey that went out to community members, um, community partners, had people answer that, sent a lot of like follow-up emails to get a lot of responses, uh, took those responses, and then just wrote basically this overarching report kind of pulled out like the strengths and weaknesses of the council, things to focus on moving forward, things that were going really well. Um, and uh, then I got hired to basically do that again for my job um, and then go further. But I think that was really like the big connection between practicum and job was it was kind of like getting a, another real experience doing that. Yeah, so definitely like I mean, I touched on the practicum, but also just in general, like learning the skills that you need. And then um, I would say really like learning how to work with a wide variety of people. So there's a lot of different perspectives coming into public health. Um, a lot of people don't come in with the public health background. So you really learn a lot about a lot of different people and how to work with them. And I think that really translates well into the real world because, you know, after you graduate, you go out and you work with people from all different backgrounds. And like my division, I work with people um, who have like really strong expertise in opioid experience, but don't have like, you know, the software experience or vice versa. So I think that's probably the most helpful thing is just like getting all the different perspectives and learning how to work with them. And then like being able to take all that and develop those soft skills and go out and uh, yeah, do some work. <laughs> probably to be a little bit more confident in myself and my own abilities. Um, um, I think I'd probably, I think I had a few people tell me that, um, I'm trying to take it to heart a little bit, but I think, you know, without that advice and just being like, Hey, like you can do it. Like you can do it. Go. Um, I'd say that that's really powerful advice that made a difference. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I would tell them to like, just engage with it. Um, I mean, you can go and get a degree by like just sitting there and listening to lectures and then taking the exams. But I think to really get the full experience, like you have to go in and like engage, like learn something new. Um, even if you're taking a class that you're like, well, I don't have any interest in, you know, whatever topic, environmental or behavioral or FE or whatever it is, but like go in and like try to engage, like how does this class relate to like what you do want to do or what you are interested in? Um, and then just connect with the professors too. Like they all really, I think, really care and like really want to see people, ex, you know, excel, exceed. Um, so like if they're doing work that you think is really cool, like go talk to them or even if you don't have them, go talk to them and be like, hey, you teach this class. Can I take it as an elective? Um, that's how I got my mental health elective. So 
yeah, I guess that would be my advice is just like go all in, like don't just go to sit in the classroom and take notes, like go to learn. And then at the end of it, you have a degree and hopefully a job that you feel really great about. <laughs>